In this component of algebra, we're going to look at the relationship between word symbolic expressions or equations and graphs. For example, we might have to translate between words and symbolic expressions. Let's look at one example. We see that Jen is four years younger than Maggie. We can rewrite this in symbolic expression if we let J equal to Jen's age and M be equal to Maggie's age. We know that Jen is four years younger than Maggie, so Jen's age is equal to Maggie's age M minus four. Another way that we could write this is we could look at taking Jen's age, adding four, and that would result in Maggie's age. Therefore, we've come up with an equation that represents the relationship between Jen's age and Maggie's age. If we want to know how to rewrite the length of a rectangle is three feet longer than twice its width, we could draw a picture of a rectangle with width w and length l. We would now know that the length of this rectangle is three feet longer than twice the width or taking two times the width of our rectangle and adding three. We also will need to be able to translate between tables, graphs, and equations to verify if the following table, graph, and equation represent the same relationship. Therefore, in the table we are given x and y values and we can check to see which graph would represent that. So when x is 0, we want to know if y is indeed negative 4, which is true. When x is 1, y is negative 1, which is also true. And when x is 2, y is 2, which is also true. So we have come up with a translation between a table and its graph. We could also look at the same reasoning given an equation to see if it represents both the graph and the table. For example, if we started to substitute in for x, we would want to determine what y is. So when x is 0, we get y is equal to 3 times 0 minus 4, which gives us negative 4, which is the same in both our table and our graph. When x is 1, we get y is equal to 3 times 1 minus 4, which is equal to negative 1, which also satisfies our table and our graph. Finally, when x is 2, y is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6, subtract 4, which is a positive 2. Again, this is true in both our table and our graph. Therefore, the equation y equal to 3x minus 4 can be represented in table form or as a graph of a line given in our diagram.